Hey, um, so I just finished the interview on WCNC and I was struggling uh, for the last several hours knowing that I was gonna do it. I really was. I have had an internal struggle um, knowing that they were gonna do it live and I wasn't gonna know what questions were gonna be asked. I wasn't gonna be able to think about that in my head and how I wanna respond. And um, you know, I really held back on this interview. Um, Fred mentioned that I checked on him and honestly, when things are going on with um, black people in the media and us being gunned down, um, killed uh, at our own free will and um, injustices, racial injustices are going on. I always think to check on Fred because I feel like he's in a very difficult position being a news anchor and having to deliver the news in a way where it's receptive to everybody uh, despite uh, whatever emotional feelings he might be having at the time as a black man. Um, Fred, that was no difficult thing for me to do. I think about you all the time when things like that happen and I appreciate you as well. Um, for those that caught it or those that didn't catch it, uh, I smiled a lot because I was really fighting difficult emotions. I really wanted to say other things, but had to remind myself that I was on live television and that um, I need to come across <laughs> in a certain way while giving my authentic opinion. And it is hard. I literally feel like I want to break down and cry. I don't know what to tell my kid. Um, I gave the answer to that question, I guess, very easily, it seems, on what to tell young children uh, about what's going on at this point in time uh, in our nation. And the reality is, hey, these United States don't seem that damn united right now. And there are some issues going on with the government. And while those things are in the process of being fixed and addressed, it's going to be a difficult time for certain populations in our country right now, as it always has been. And the reality is just, it's so hard to be a therapist right now. It really is. It's hard to hear the same things over and over again and try to provide not answers, but advice on how to reach your personal goal of feeling appreciated in this society. And um, it shouldn't be a personal goal. It should just be something that happens. It's, it's just our natural human right um, to be respected, I feel, and treated um, as if we are one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all and the truth of the matter is we are absolutely not we're absolutely not so i refuse to lie to myself lie to my child for sure about that because he knows um the child tells me uh, at least once a week that donald trump cannot be trusted and he's concerned about uh what's gonna happen with our country and i don't know what the hell to tell him because i don't believe half the things that i'm hearing so there's that um i appreciate wcnc tv um for having me. I, I love y'all over there. You're always uh, making it very clear that my professional and personal opinion is appreciated and my energy is appreciated uh, authentically. So I, I love y'all. Thank you for having me and um, I'll see you guys later.